Okay, so we are off to Pasadena to have a rock light dinner with Monica. And I'm bringing it. So I'm gonna bring it up. We're gonna have rock light at her place. It's too bad Robert wasn't there, isn't there. But she won't be alone tonight. I'll go see my daughter. Should be fun. And Luna will be there too. So good for us. We can all enjoy. Okay, so we're finally getting on the freeway. It's busy. People are trying to get home. I'm sure they're probably trying to go get grocery shopping and get everything else in order. And uh, like me, uh, I'm going somewhere tonight. So let's see how this adventure ends up. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're doing pretty good. FedEx man's booking it. Uh, but there is a lot of traffic on the road. So we'll just take it easy, take it as it comes. Don't overdo it. And just head on up to Pasadena. Pasadena. So we are here now in Oceanside. It's actually still Carlsbad, but as far as I'm concerned, it's Oceanside. Um, and we're about to switch on to the 5 freeway. And I'm anticipating a lot of traffic. So I'm getting over here so that I will be in the right lane at the right time ready to go. It's a fairly nice day and I guess I'm going to see a sunset uh, come, driving up so uh, that won't be so bad with uh, um, the sunset behind my or the sun behind my back. onto the 5 freeway and that's the long freeway that's going to head us up the coast up into Los Angeles so we'll see how this goes should be okay it's only 3 o'clock at the moment so yeah it should be should work out This is the Oceanside Curve here. So we're right here by the harbor. And from here on out, uh, up ahead, you can see all the traffic coming the other way. Uh, so there are people coming down to San Diego to stay. So we're on our way. But oh my gosh, look at the traffic coming down. Woo-wee! Okay, it is moving, but uh, there are people coming down to San Diego for sure. And here we are at the radar domes. We're pretty close to the coast right there. And heading past the uh, coaster holder. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, roundhouse? <laughs> I guess you could say that. Switching station. Anyway, we're making progress. Traffic's going. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, so far, the ETA says 502. So, we're on time. We'll see uh, if it really becomes 502. I think I might just squeak through the I-5. Hopefully that works out for us. Uh, that would be good. And uh, yeah, get up to Monica's. 
So we're through most of Pendleton. We're at the north part of Pendleton. And so far traffic's going fairly well. No problems. Nice driving. There's more people than than I would expect, but uh, for under the circumstances. I mean, if it was a non-quarantine year. Um, oh, there's a helicopter. Oh, cool. Get to see the helicopter fly. He's going to fly over the freeway now. There we go. So we can capture him. Cool. Guess they're doing maneuvers at Pendleton. So I see some brake lights up ahead. I wonder if they are inspecting the border crossing. We will see. So this is sort of like a way station slash inspection area. Inspection facility, it says CHP inspection facility and sometimes they do checks but not today and not now the nuclear power plant of San Onofre it's no longer working and uh, I think pretty soon they're gonna start knocking the domes down and dismantling it they've been pulling out all kinds of stuff out of there and I think the domes are coming up soon to be torn down. So, so we made it to San Clemente. And so far so good. Traffic is moving. at the right time. So, here at the beginning of Irvine and the end of San Clemente, we have hit stop and go traffic. It starts. <laughs> as soon as you get into the OC, <laughs> it starts with traffic. So, I guess it was just that corner that was the slowdown because everything's picked up it looks a little lighter I mean good everyone's not stopped behind each other and traffic is appearing to be going so good oh no we are here in the beginning of Irvine And it looks like we're going to have these pockets of stoppage. And then we go and then we stop. I don't know if it's maybe because of the construction related to that people can't drive fast through here. Or it's just everybody getting off of work early to go somewhere and start their Thanksgiving holiday. We will see. We will see. So we're getting through Irvine. Uh, I think the construction is probably one reason why it kind of is a little slow through here. But we're making it through. And yeah, it kind of slows down and it goes. But we will make it easily. Uh, so far we're right on time, 5 o'clock, but it is becoming now 4 o'clock, and people are going to start getting up to work, and that's going to jam up the freeways, and people are going to want to get going somewhere maybe, because the quarantine starts... can't eat 
inside or outside now in LA at all. So, yeah. So, we're right here by the Irvine Spectrum, and right here it told me the map to turn off, which tells me that there might be some more than extreme traffic. Oh, up ahead. And, uh, that I should turn off and head over and everything. I'm going to stay on the five, but, uh, who knows? Uh, if that's a wise way or a bad way. I'd like to get away from this van here so that I can see what's going on up ahead. So I think I'm going to turn over to get away from him. So at least that I'm behind a car. It is sunset time and it's 4.12. Now, it can't be as bad as it would be at 5. I gotta think, but probably some people got let off earlier too and yeah everybody wants to go do something before Thanksgiving too I'm sure so yeah I'm one of them too we'll see so we're on the 5 and now it's stop and go it's 427 so I suspect these people are all getting off of work or going somewhere and I'm in it too but it is moving uh, the car keeps telling me to turn off it says I'm in red at the moment I guess that is stop and go red but it keeps moving and going a little bit and stuff so uh, we'll make it we will definitely make it. Uh, it's becoming nighttime now. And yeah, we are slowly making it there. Uh, looks like it's going to be now 512 when we get there. But uh, that won't be too bad. And we talked with Monica and she's just uh, good about me coming up too to have dinner with her. So we can do that and have a little fun. Um, and yeah, traffic's going, I mean, it's not super fast, but, uh, it is going, but it is becoming five o'clock in about 12 minutes. So, uh, hopefully it looks like it'll make it. I mean, it's, it's only what now half hour until I get there. So that's not too bad from where I'm at right now. Anyhow, uh, that's where we're at. We're just in South LA, about to get into downtown Los Angeles. And yeah, we will be making it here around this different way. Seems to be working pretty good. We're not going by downtown LA, but uh, taking us a little further inland and then over but this should work pretty well the city actually this is a nicer way to see the city <laughs> in some ways uh, we're trying to get on this North Sacramento and it's probably everybody trying to get out of Dodge, but uh, which is me too. And I think once we get through this, then the Pasadena Freeway will go and we'll get over to Monica's right now. Uh, here is my turn off, Pasadena. Yes, sir. I will take that. It's a lot better than going on that Broadway because I've done that last time and that is a nightmare to get back on the Pasadena Freeway again. 
and this way you bypass all of this. This is great. Too bad you can't keep going. <laughs> but that doesn't happen. But yeah, now we'll be on the Pasadena. I think one of the oldest, the oldest freeway in Los Angeles proper. So, uh, it's quite twisty and people get off and the off ramps are really short and the on ramps are short too and it's a little bit narrow. It used to be only two lanes, now they've made it into three. So uh, we'll go in the third lane here. So right now it is nighttime and we will see how good it's picking up here at nighttime with the street lights and the cars. Let's see. Yeah, it should be here. Oh, this is a roundabout. Okay, so this is the problem. Nobody knows how to instigate the roundabout. Yeah, it's fairly dark. Just brake lights and these old lanterns, old city lanterns, which is kind of cute and neat. Wow, they got them down the major streets. Pretty nice. I mean, I don't think they illuminate too much, but uh, they do illuminate a little bit. <laughs> 